Master, why is the idol not yet finished? The Festival of the Sun God is but three days away. Tomorrow, make them work through the night. Tomorrow is their Sabbath, Pharaoh. It is a time they honor their god. Their god? I have no fear of a god whose, whose people are slaves. They will work through the night. Now, take me to the sorceress. Yes, your highness. Sorceress, consult the oracle and tell me when I will have a son. I have been pharaoh too long without an heir to my kingdom. I see a child, a born leader. My son. No, a Hebrew. He will lead his people out of slavery. A Hebrew? Destroy my kingdom? Impossible. A strange warning, yes. But is it not the tiny beetle that brings the blight that kills the mighty tree? Taskmaster, it seems the Hebrews are planning a revolt against me. You will go to Goshen this very night and kill every newborn son. Children? But your highness! Tonight! Or tomorrow you will begin constructing your own tomb. Yes, Pharaoh. It will be done. flight and no peanuts I'm starving now now you can't possibly be hungry again my beautiful beautiful son I will give you more love than any baby in all of Egypt I only wish I could give you freedom. Yakabed, come with me. We're in danger. Why? What has happened? Pharaoh's men are here. They've come to harm our children. We must hurry. Run, Yakabed! child I won't agree to obey that foul decree by which Pharaoh seeks to destroy every newborn boy it's not safe for you to stay so I have to send you far away but these words before you go my sweet child I love again. I don't know how, I don't know when, but even if we're apart, you will still be in my heart. God bless you, my son, wherever you go, whoever you will become. Without you, life won't be the same. My child without a
be. Oh, you are more precious than all my jewels. What have you there, Your Majesty? Look, the gods have answered my prayers and sent us a child. And you said we would be destroyed. Where are your prophecies now? The Nile God has rewarded me with a son. Yes, a baby. How interesting. Surely this must be the child the Oracle spoke of. You must destroy him. I tell you that you and your prophecies are wrong. You will not speak of it again. Do you understand? As you wish, sire. What shall we call him, my queen? Moses. That's an odd name. It means to draw out. Since I drew him out of the river, that shall be his name. Moses, my son, your kingdom awaits you. I heard from my friend at the palace. Yesterday, Pharaoh's wife found a baby in a basket upon the Nile. No. Did they harm him? No. They took him as a son and called him Moses. My son shall be raised to be a pharaoh. I thank God that he's alive. I shall pray for you always. Moses. He seems anxious for your crown, Pharaoh. Perhaps your kingdom, too. Isn't Moses the most precious child? Oh, Ramses, you certainly are nothing like your older brother. No, he's nothing like Moses at all. So, if a chariot leaves the palace, traveling towards the Great Pyramid with the speed of 10 geese. At what time will these two chariots meet? The answer is 10 past the sun. Very good, Moses. Don't worry, little brother. I'll show you how to do it later. little brother. Your life is in my hands, Moses. You wouldn't kill your own brother, would you? A king must not show mercy for his enemies. But I am not your enemy, and you are not king. It's only a matter of time. Father is ill, and he will soon choose me as his successor. Moses! Ramses! The law has decided this battle for us. The eldest son becomes Pharaoh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Moses. Come, open your presents. A songbird? <laughs> I don't hear anything. He probably can't sing a note. Can't sing? Why, I... Listen, kid! I've sung with some of the top maestros in Egypt! Ah, a difficult dilemma. A songbird that will not sing is like a slave that will not work. To solve such a problem requires the wisdom of a king. Tell me, how would you solve it? I would make that bird sing by plucking out its feathers one by one. Moses! Why did you do that? A foolish decision, my son. Where once you had a bird, now all you have is an empty cage. You're wrong, father. 
Now I have his song. Here, Moses, open my present. Oh, a basket. A very unique gift. Ramses, where did you get that? What's wrong, Father? Oh, it's nothing. I'm sure Ramses is just playing one of his little jokes. Is there something about this basket I should know? It's nothing. Come, let me give you my present. Why are father and mother so upset about that basket? They have never kept secrets from me before. I have no idea. It's very mysterious, don't you think? Where did you get it? It came from a slave woman in Goshen. Jochebed was her name, I think. Come to think of it, I'm sure I've heard her name before. Something to do with the day you were born? The day the Nile God gave me to mother? What secret could they possibly have about that? I don't know, but I don't think they're going to tell you. Jochebed in Goshen. Fit for a king, is it not? Thank you, Father. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Here, let me take this so that you can go out for a little ride. Yes, a ride. That's an excellent idea. You did well, Ramses. Soon, you will be Pharaoh. I'll be back soon. But first, I need to find a disguise. Excuse me, sir. I wonder if you might be able to help me. I am in need of a cloak. I'd be willing to trade this sword for yours. Uh, what exactly are we doing out here? There's a slave woman here I want to see, Jacobed. This must be the house. Who's there? I... I am but a weary traveler, new to this land. Please, come in. We don't have much, but we can offer you food and a place to stay the night. I am Jacobed, and this is my husband, Amram. Thank you. Please let me make an offering to the gods for your kindness. Where do you keep your idols? We do not keep idols. We're Hebrews. We obey only one god. Only one god? Which god is it? Do you believe in the sun god? Or is it the god of the water? Well, he is neither, and both at the same time. I don't understand. Where is your god? What does he look like? He is like the air we breathe. We cannot see him, but he is all around us. But you have so little. Why doesn't your god help you? How can you believe in a god that makes you slaves? It is Pharaoh who makes us slaves. We have all we need. Food, love, and faith that God will someday send us a leader to set us free. If you can have faith through such hardship, then your God must have a strength I have never known. Is something wrong? No, it's just that you seem somehow familiar to me, like a dream I once had but have forgotten. Come. Let us pray. God, we thank you for this food and for a chance to share it with a new friend. And although my heart aches for the son I set free upon the water, I thank you for guiding him to the house of Pharaoh. God bless Moses. A basket. Are you all right? Please forgive me. I cannot stay. I must be on my way. So, 
That was the secret my parents kept from me. I have never prayed to a god I could not see before. If you do exist, please help me to choose the right path. Ah, uh, amen. Somehow, someone clothed in wind and light in a way I can't describe Speaks to me tonight Somehow, someone Makes me feel at last I know exactly who I am And what has been my past It's a whirling, thrilling feeling Very strange, I concede But now I know what I must do Help my people to be freed Somehow, someone clothed in wind and light Fills the void with answers On this desert night When I say work faster I mean work faster. But Taskmaster, I... Slave, I'll teach you to talk back. How dare you? Moses. How can I thank you for saving my life? It is I who should thank you for saving mine. I know that you are my father. But how did you know? I was the traveler who visited you last night. I am a Hebrew, just like you. Now I know the truth. Yes, Moses, you know the truth. And soon everyone else will. Moses, you must come quickly. Father is near death. He is asking for you. Moses, is that you? Yes, Father. I have heard disturbing news. Is it true that you spared a slave from the Taskmaster's whip today? Yes, it's true. Ah, this troubles me, my son. A pharaoh must be strong. He must not show weakness to his people. I do not think it weak to show mercy, father. There are thousands of slaves. Why did this one deserve your protection? Is there something special about him, Moses? I know the truth about this basket that you and mother have kept from me since birth. You have been listening to idle gossip. I must hear the truth from you. Am I the son of Hebrews? You are a gift from the Nile God, I tell you. <laughs> I can still name you Pharaoh. You only have to make an offering to the God of Prosperity. Ask for his blessing. I can no longer bow before idols, Father. Is it not enough to question me? Now you must show disrespect to our gods. I mean no disrespect, Father. But I must honor the God of my people. The Hebrew God. Oh, this changes everything, Moses. The air around me is thin. I have but one breath left. And with it, I must choose the next king of Egypt. Speak his name, father. Ramsey. Our competition is over, Moses. Your life is in my hands. You would not kill your own brother, would you? A king must show no weakness towards his enemies. But I am not your enemy. Yes, you are.
There he is! Pharaoh! Hmm, I like the sound of that. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Moses has escaped. What? How is that possible? He slipped past us and ran into the desert, sire. Into the desert? Then he's as good as dead. He cannot survive there for long. And how you met father? Gershom, you've heard this story so many times. Well, Moses had wandered in the desert for a long time after he left Egypt. Egypt? <laughs> oh, kid, it's unbelievable. There's culture, there's excitement, and what a skyline! I think Gershom has heard enough for one day, Whistler. That's okay, Dad. Egypt sounds like a strange place. I'd rather stay here and be a shepherd like you. Moses, is something troubling you? In Egypt, my son would have been a prince. Here, he'll only be a shepherd. Moses, there's no shame in honest work. I gave up the crown for a god I cannot see. You did it on faith. But where has faith gotten me? Do you expect God to give you a reward? No. A purpose. Father, one of the lambs has run up the mountainside. I'd better go after him before the rain starts. Stay with your mother and watch after the flock. Moses. 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 Come closer. Are, are you God? I am what I am. What do you want of me? When you were a baby, I guided your basket to Pharaoh's palace and saved your life. Now you must do the same for the Hebrew slaves. But what can I do? Return to Egypt and command Ramses to let my people go. Me, Lord? I am nothing but a simple shepherd. Tell me, Moses. Do you know why you are so named? Because my mother drew me out of the water. No, because you will be the one to draw your people out of bondage. Once they are free, they will need a shepherd to lead them. Lead them? Where? To the land I promised their forefathers. A land flowing with milk and honey. If I return to Egypt, Ramses will kill me before I have a chance to free the Hebrews. He may try, but he will not succeed. I will give him many chances to free my people. But if he hardens his heart to their pleas, I will send plagues to destroy Egypt. But now go. Your people await. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Moses? What's happened? I have been in the presence of the Almighty God. 
The time has come for the Hebrews to be free, and I am the one to lead them from their bondage. God has finally given me my purpose. Egypt! Oh, yes! I'm back in business! Egypt! <laughs> Happy birthday, Ares. A songbird? Sing for me or I will pluck out your feathers. Egypt, every time I hit this town, I end up doing time. Come, young warrior. Your real present is outside. Where is it? All around you. Someday, everything you see shall be yours. The pyramids, the slaves. But what will I do with it all? Anything you want. When you're working, there's not a thing you cannot do. Want to party for a week? Just say the word, your wish comes true. Cause when you're king, there's not a thing you cannot do. When you are king, there's not a thing you can't possess. All the land and all the gold, all the stuff that's in the stores. Just think, when you're the king, it's all yours. Life will rarely be a bore. If it is, you start a war. And you'll never be alone. As for she who shares your throne, she's as fragrant as a pear With all that long and lovely hair For when your king fate tends to bring a girl most fair When you are king, the world will sing in praise of you It doesn't matter what you do It doesn't matter if it's true when you are king, your subjects sing great songs of you. When you are king, there's not a thing you cannot do. Pharaoh. What do you want? Moses has returned. What? But that's impossible. He can't be still alive. Bring him to me, and I will finish what I should have finished years ago. Moses, what a pleasant surprise. I wish you'd let us know you'd be dropping by. I could have been better prepared for your visit. Ramses, I will be brief. I have returned in the name of the God of Israel to give you a message. A message from the God of Israel. <laughs> what message is that? Let my people go. A message from the God of Israel. This is the reason you've come back after so many years? Let me see if I can remember correctly. This would be the Hebrew God that you could not show to Father. Can you show him to me now? I can. <laughs> Be afraid, my son. It is nothing but a magic trick, and I will prove it. Sorceress! What is your answer, Ramses? A pharaoh is not to be threatened by cheap tricks. I will not free the slaves, but I will double their workload. They will make twice as many bricks by sundown, or endure pain beyond their worst nightmare. God will answer the hardness of your heart, Ramses. All of Egypt will suffer the consequences. Do not doubt it. There will be plagues upon the land. Plagues that will devastate your crops and your animals. Be gone, Moses. I have had enough amusement for one day. <laughs> Plagues! 
Can you imagine anything more ridiculous? Your Highness, the Nile, it's turning to blood. <laughs> Moses. Plagues. Oh, Moses, your god will have to work harder than that to frighten me. Frog's legs? Why have you called me here? Will you let my people go? Moses. You've been away so long. Surely there are things you must need. Gold to buy a home as beautiful as any king's. Or rubies for every finger on your wife's hand. The only thing you can offer me, Ramses, is the freedom of my people. Never. So be it. But God will send more plagues upon Egypt. Uh, what sorts of plagues exactly? Fleas will infest the land. Wild beasts will leave the wilderness and walk freely in the streets. There will be sickness among the cattle of your fields. Hail like burning fire will fall from the sky. A swarm of locusts will devour the fruit of the vine and leave Egypt hungry. Then God will smother the sun with clouds, shrouding the land in darkness. I have only made things worse for my people. The plagues have only strengthened Ramsay's resolve and made him hard. It is always darkest before the dawn. How can I change Ramsay's mind? Tell me what to do. Go to him once more. If he refuses, I will send the angel of death to slay the firstborn of Egypt. Will our children be spared? They will, provided you do as I say. We were brothers once, Moses. We can be again. Let us band together, and we will be more powerful than any god. No, you don't understand, Ramses. I have not come here seeking power for myself. I have come in service to God. I don't believe you. It's some sort of trick. Can the things that have happened be mere tricks? Please, let my people go. Never. I bested you in swordplay once, Moses. I can best you again. Your battle is not with me, Ramses. This time, you face one who cannot be defeated. I must warn you. If you do not free my people, God will send the angel of death to slay the firstborn of all Egypt. Leave me! So be it. I will win yet, brother. Father, why are you marking the doorposts? To ask for God's protection. We mark our houses to show our faithfulness to God so that he will spare us tonight. We have no time to wait. Come and gather round the table. Father, why is tonight different from all other nights? because tonight, the angel of death will pass over our homes. Moses and his Hebrew God. Your Highness, you fool! What do you want? All of Egypt's firstborn sons, they are... Fairies. No! Your God is... 
You're stronger than any I've ever known. I want nothing of your people anymore. Take them from my land for good. You are all free to go. <gasps> my friends, rejoice! We are free! Oh, I am free! God will lead us. He has brought us this far. He will not fail us now. How could you free your slaves? What could I do? Nothing grows in our fields. Our cattle lay sick or dying. Our trees yield no fruit. Their God destroyed my entire kingdom and all that was worth living for. There is still something worth living for. Revenge. Moses must pay for what he has done to you and to the memory of Egypt's great kings. Yes, Moses must pay. How will we cross the sea, Moses? Have faith, friend. God will lead the way. Look! Yes, we do. Go forth, children of Israel. If it parts for them, it shall stay parted for us. Follow me! Lord, protect us from our enemies! We have a long journey ahead of us. Promised riches. There's nothing here but rock. I had a place to lay this my head. what we traveled so far and so long for? I will go and seek your treasure. But you must search within your hearts and find the faith and hope you've lost, for that is the source of your greatest riches. Lord, I have done as you told me. I have led my people out of bondage and brought them here. Indeed you have, Moses. And are the Hebrews thankful for their deliverance? No, they seem angry. They were expecting a land filled with wealth, but instead of silver and gold, there is just rock and stone. I did not promise silver and gold. I promised riches that could not be counted. But where are these riches? I shall make them for you out of these very stones the people find so worthless. Why is Moses gone so long? Maybe he's keeping the treasure for himself. Moses' faith freed you from the Pharaoh's harsh rule. Can you not keep a little faith in Moses? It's Moses. He's come back. 
Here is your treasure. Stone tablets? What are they worth? More than all the gold in the world. For these tablets are inscribed with God's laws and his promise to us. These are the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not take God's name in vain. Honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Honor thy father and mother. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not covet anything belonging to a neighbor. Remember the Ten Commandments and keep them holy. This is God's gift to you and to your children. God's laws will be with us always, strong and unchanging. Amen.